Hey, how you doing? We are going to install our uh, a CB into our 2017 Ram 2500. And uh, we ordered everything by mail. We got today, we just got the antenna and um, some accessories, the coaxial cable and a spring, a barrel spring and a mount. This is a Hustler 102 inch whip and stainless steel whip antenna. And yeah, I thought I'd just uh, open it up and show you what how it comes. Some people actually uh, said in the comments that uh, the antenna came in this PVC tube, but they had to pick it up at the post office. Fortunately, we live, as you can see, um, right now in an RV park, and it was actually delivered to the office here, so I didn't have to run downtown to get it. Anyhow, yeah, let's uh, open it up and take a look. So, I guess they call that a Corona ball. I'm not sure. Uh, other than to weight the tip so it doesn't bounce so much. So, this is it. It's actually lighter than what I was expecting. Smaller end. And then the rest of the package. So the rest of the stuff I got is the 18 foot coaxial cable. And this is a mirror mount, but I'm hoping this is all in one kit. Um, so I'm hoping uh, this will work. But if not, that's okay, I guess it means. And then this is only, unfortunately, a three inch barrel spring. I'm trying to uh, probably uh, get a either a six inch, or I mean a four inch or a six inch, whatever I can find. So I plan on installing the antenna. And I know there's various opinions where you should install it, but I'm going to put it right in the center of the bed, right behind the cab. Watched a bunch of videos, pros and cons about wherever you mount them, except on the roof, which I can't do. Um, but I need to mount it up here because we have a fifth wheel that we tow. And uh, right now I have the hitch out, but that's the frame for it. So it has to be out of the way for the fifth wheel. So that's where I'm going to put it. I didn't want to put it up front, although I may have to. The one thing I'm wondering about is since this has a coating on it, how I'm going to get a decent ground without having to tear some of that off. Otherwise, I didn't want to, but I may have to put it up here on the fender. I'm afraid that would bend it. That's pretty heavy whip antenna, but we'll check on that after I see what else I can do. And I mounted it right on the uh, bed on the center, and that was a bear. Let me tell you, to get that in there and get my hand down in between this little bit, and there, plus there's a lip right there that just was extremely hard and with four bolts. My problem was that the bed has a liner, spray liner on it, and I, I wasn't sure I was getting a good mount. I have a, the second part of that mount, it's an antenna mount, um, on the back side, and the back side is metal, but it has paint. I ran a ground wire from there, from the mount, down to the frame, and uh, now there's the antenna. And this, uh, where I'm at now, I'm and in our parking lot here at work. I'm whacking the trees all over the place with that thing. And I have to drive really slow in the, in the streets to get here. You know, let me go around. And uh, what I did, I ran the coax and the ground wire down through 
cable. There's, you can see it, the ground wires hooked to one of the mounting bolts. Um, ran it through between the bed and the cab. And then under the frame, I'm not sure if you can see that there, on, along the frame to the firewall. And then on the inside, I brought it through the grommet that actually is the hood release, where the hood release goes through the firewall. Not sure you can see that. You can see the red wire. Goes through a grommet there, and same with the uh, coax for the antenna. Those ran um, through there. And then I ran it to the radio, which I have in the center console. I am getting a good uh, SWR reading, though, of 1.1 all the way across all the channels. And uh, so I'm happy with that. And uh, like, kind of like how that antenna looks. <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments please post them below and I'll get back to you.